Hello, today I'm doing my maths summer reading since I'll be doing A-level maths along with A-level geography, A-level French and A-level economics from September this year. This video is the last in my A-level summer reading series and if you would like to watch any of the other videos they will be linked in the YouTube card above as part of a playlist. This is Study with Aditi. My name is Aditi and this channel is dedicated to revision tips and tricks along with much more to make your schooling life a whole lot easier. The book I'm reading here is called A Concise Introduction to Pure Mathematics by Martin W. Liebeck or Liebeck. I don't actually know which one it is, but let's go with Liebeck. The book presents some of the most fundamental and beautiful ideas of maths. And while a student may not want to go into maths necessarily, this book may be a good introduction into maths as part of a wider interest. Overall, it at least gives students an appreciation for maths in general. However, I would say it's not really a book to read between GCSEs and A-levels because it is filled with a lot of symbols and signs that I have not come across before, even having taken the new GCSE. I'd say the book is for someone going into university rather than going into sixth form. The book actually says it's accessible to readers with a sound background in high school mathematics and while I didn't necessarily fit this category I still tried the book because it was recommended to me by one of the sixth forms that I've applied to. The book also has a load of exercises working out and examples and because it's the third edition the book also has solutions to all the odd numbered exercises therefore it's basically a textbook and Google actually calls it this as well while I tried to read it as a book, it I found some interesting points, but a lot of it was unknown. Overall, I'd say I enjoyed the book, but probably not as much as I could have if I actually knew all the concepts. Because pure mathematics is basically the theory behind concepts. And if you don't know the concept at first, it obviously becomes quite hard to understand pure mathematics. Overall, I'd say the book was good, but probably not as good as I would have found it if I had already done A-level maths. If I do end up doing pure mathematics at uni, then I probably will give this another read. But at the moment, I don't think I will. Don't get me wrong, though. It's not like the book isn't good. It's just my knowledge at the moment is not like at the same level as the book. It's kind of like if you're struggling at something and then you suddenly get it you start to enjoy it a lot more i think that's the same concept here thank you for taking the time to watch this video if you liked it please give this video a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe for videos every single week if you've already subscribed click the bell icon so you can get notified for all my videos and be here early also, please do comment any requests that you have in the comments down below so I can really make this channel tailored to you. Thank you once again and goodbye.